Hello, in this video we are going to look at indirect memory addressing. So at the moment what we have again in this default application, we run it, prints our hello world and essentially we have this variable hello and that is stored in this 32-bit register and that gets printed out based on its length which is dynamically calculated. But what we're interested is, you know, in is right here so what we want to actually put into the ecx register is specified directly here as you know the variable hello but if for example i created or i moved into another register for example that variable hello so i could use the ebp register because at the moment i'm not using it for anything so it's a you know good place to start you know one that's not being used if i say hello and obviously this won't you know change the running of, of everything of anything but if I was to remove that and let's put zero there, for example, and again, nothing shows. So if I was to put EBP here, we get hello world. We are not specifying hello here. We have specified the hello variable to be moved into the EBP register. Then we've said move what's in the EBP register into ECF. So we've indirectly accessed it. Hence the you know the term indirect memory addressing. We are addressing it indirectly, not you know going direct to the variable and via some other memory location. That's really all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.